Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the desert ecosystems. Can you think of the important things that you need in order to live? Well, there's food, air, and water. We also need the sunlight because the sun is the major provider of energy to our planet. And what else? How about your home? Yes, a cozy home with just the right temperature. Some of us may not know this but we also need other animals and plants to provide us our needs and at some point they also need us. How organisms interact with the sun, soil, water, air and each other in a specific area is called an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a specific area where the organisms work together. That means they help each other to survive. It could be any size from a tiny pool of water to hundreds of square miles of desert. Each ecosystem is different depending on what time has been spent on it and what creatures live in it. A group of ecosystems is called a biome. Biomes have similar weather, rainfall, animals and plants. There are some kinds of biomes on our planet. The land biomes include the desert, grasslands, tundra and the forest. On the other hand, the aquatic biomes include the marine and fresh waters. But let's talk about each one in the next videos, so tune in. One important characteristic of an ecosystem is that they have a balance in order for all the organisms within to survive. These balances involve food, water, oxygen, energy, and matter distribution. Now, let's begin with the desert ecosystem. When you think of the desert, it's just the sand that is very dry and that gets hardly in a rain. During the days, the desert can be extremely hot and the nights can be very cold. So how can something live in it? On the contrary, a desert biome is actually very full of life with animals, plants, rocks, and more. Surprising, isn't it? Now fun fact, did you know that not all deserts are hot? In fact, the largest desert in the world is Antarctica. Yes, it is made of ice but since water there becomes ice due to cold, it is considered a desert. Okay, back again. Although the amount of rain that a desert has is often low, there are some that grow in the desert called desert plants. So what are these desert plants? Desert plants are different types of cacti and plants that do not need the nutrients of water. They vary from shrubs and bushes to orchids. The cactus is a famous desert plant because it is built to hold water while in the desert. The spines on the cactus actually help to keep water from leaving the plant. And it also protects the plant from animals that are looking for food. You don't want to be pricked by a cactus, right? Another plant called the yucca plant provides fruit for small animals and protection from the hot sun. The dragon blood tree also grows in the desert because it doesn't need a lot of water to survive. It has a thick covering so it does not lose its stored water when the sun is too hot and has deep roots so it can find and seep water underground. Fun fact learners, did you know that there's a plant that looks like a baseball? Baseball plant is a kind of cactus that looks exactly like a baseball and extinct in nature because of over collection. So, evolution has made some plants even adapt and survive the harshness of the desert. But not only plants, but some animals too. So what animals are in the desert? There are many animals that have adapted to the desert life. And most of them are seen in the night where the hot temperature is absent. But some of them enjoy being out during the hot times of the day. Animals such as snakes and lizards that enjoy warming themselves on a rock or in the desert sand. So beware of the sun because a rattlesnake might sneak up on you. Many animals burrow or dig because it is much cooler at the bottom of the sun than on top of the sand. Animals like the bobcat or the meerkat learn to dig in the sand to get away from the heat. The camel is another desert animal that is famous for giving rides in the desert. It has humps where they can store fat and water so that they will not easily go thirsty. 
The camel also has special eyelids and eyelashes for protection of their eyes from the sand. The desert fox, wild dog, and the wild donkey also are found in the desert. Well, humans are also animals, and some of them live right in the middle of the desert. In fact, there are over 300 million people that live in the desert. These people have learned to adapt to the desert, to preserve their old traditions and culture, their land and their livelihood. So learners, now we have some idea on what ecosystem is. And there are a lot of interesting things in the desert other than sand. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.